it is found that the binding energy per nucleon varies from element to element a graph is plotted with the mass number of the nucleus along the x axis and binding energy per nucleon along the y axis the binding energy per nucleon increases sharply with the mass number is up to 20 and it will increase slowly after 20 for a less than 20 there exists recurrence of peaks corresponding to those nuclei whose mass number are multiples of 4 and they contain not e only equal but also even number of protons and neutrons in this area for typical example helium we got a peak here beryllium here carbon here oxygen to the next level and neon to the next level so the curve becomes almost a flat for mass number between 40 and 80 120 beyond 120 it started decreases as the mass number increases The binding energy per nucleon reaches a maximum of 8.8 .8 volt mega electron volt at A is equal to 56 which is nothing but iron. Hence iron nucleus is the most stable one. The average binding energy per nucleon is about 8.5 mega electron volt for nuclei having mass number ranges from 40 to 120. These elements are comparatively more stable and non-radioactive. For higher mass numbers, the curve drops slowly and the B slash A, that's average binding energy per nucleon, is about 7.6 mega electron volt for uranium. Hence, they are unstable and they are radioactive. The lesser amount of binding energy for lighter and heavier nuclei explains nuclear fusion and fission respectively. A large amount of energy will be liberated if lighter nuclei are fused to form heavier one. And if heavier nuclei are split into lighter one, that's referred to as fusion and fission. So lighter nuclei join to form heavier, that's fusion. And heavier nuclei splitting into lighter one, that's fission.